employees at OCF Coffee House in Philadelphia voted to unionize, and all three stores closed a week later. Former employees protested the closure, calling it retaliation for unionization efforts. Former employees of OCF Coffee House rallied outside of the now closed Fairmount Cafe on Tuesday. We've been paid really bad wages, and this is just, this was our attempt to get better wages and like make the place that we love better. The coffee shops are owned by OCF Realty. The real estate brokerage announced the closures to employees in an email, which included two other locations in South Philly. Workers like Alex Simpson say they were shocked. I am pretty crushed, especially when... It's such a blatant response to our union process. Like this comes a week after we publicly announced our union. In today's harsh economic climate, businesses constantly struggle to stay afloat. Store owners sometimes make the difficult decision to close stores, to manage financial burdens and avoid further losses. Rising costs and falling sales often lead to such closures and the additional financial strain from unionization Efforts can make matters worse. We believe in the right of employers to make decisions they deem necessary for the survival of their business. The sudden closure of a business can be viewed as an exercise of these rights. As employers strive to keep their companies viable amidst new challenges. However, there is also a crucial need to balance workers' rights with employer freedoms in a free market economy. Unionization efforts, while important for worker rights, can sometimes undermine corporate financial stability.